love this background so much more than my room. Anyways, the reason why I want to talk to you guys before I actually like get into the vlog is because I started this channel wanting to be so authentic and so real with you guys and like share absolutely everything about my life. But I just feel like all the videos that I film, I'm always like obviously in the best mood, feeling my best. I look really happy and stuff. And that is true. I'm such like a happy person and I'm such like a positive girl. But when I feel really down, I find it so hard to actually film videos and not even just film videos, get out of bed, do anything like that. The plan was to basically use these holidays to knuckle down, film so much content for you guys. I had so many exciting videos planned and everything like that. But clearly things haven't gone to plan and my mental health went so downhill. Like... I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh. I wanna like talk about it because not just like will this help you guys maybe but like I wanna be able to look back on this and be like oh you know like I've come so far now but basically the last two months I reckon my anxiety reached a whole new level of bad. My mind just basically went a full 180 and I think everything just went out of control for a little bit and I think the important thing to remember and what I reminded myself throughout all of it is that it's completely okay to have bad days but not even just that everything you go through every situation that happens to you no matter how bad it is you really have to understand that everything happens for you and not to you and once you start believing that and once you get that in your head it really puts everything into perspective because really everything you're going through right now is only to help you and shape you and shift you into the person that you're meant to become to take on your goals take on your dreams and you just have to learn to appreciate all those hardships all the challenges that you're faced with no matter how hard they are because all of it is literally just there to build up your character and for you to become the strong person you need to become in order to attain whatever your goals are that you want to achieve and for me the past few months were so hard to the point that I'd be really happy one day and feeling great about myself feeling so connected and aligned and then the next day I wouldn't even be able to get out of bed and I'm not saying this for sympathy I'm just saying this purely so that you guys can understand that just because people are always happy and just because they're always positive people doesn't mean that it's always that way I was always shy growing up but I over time Time, I guess that changed and I became a really confident outgoing person however when I was going through this anxiety all of my self-love went away all of my self-motivation all of my confidence absolutely everything inside of me that I felt made who I was just felt like it was completely destroyed and gone away and I absolutely didn't know who I was it's not because bad things were happening to me it was all in my mind which is what I found the hardest to comprehend because I'd be perfectly fine one minute and the next minute just one thought would trigger in my mind and it would trigger all these bad feelings and all these bad thoughts to come rushing back and it just felt so out of my control it felt like literally everything around me was suddenly so dark everyone around me as well was so dark and I didn't understand why because I'm surrounded by the best people I have the best family the best friends I've got you guys and so much positivity around me so much positivity that normally feels in my mind but for some reason that just all felt like it completely disappeared and I was just left with nothing but it was all in my mind and what happened was when I was feeling really really anxious it felt like I was suddenly disconnected from reality and everything around me just felt like I was in a dream because my anxiety got that bad that I felt so disconnected from reality I felt like I couldn't actually touch anything and I felt like I wasn't actually here and then when I suddenly would feel like myself again like a switch would just turn on in my mind and I suddenly felt like oh I'm back in reality now and everything's actually fine everything's been fine this whole time but that's how powerful your mind is that like like your mind can convince you of anything your mind can just switch up just like that and it's so important to try and stay in control of that and stay in control of your mind but when it gets so bad sometimes and when you're feeling so anxious I know and I understand how hard it can be to be able to do that and it sucked because I tried every single day every single minute I would never ever ever let a panic attack affect my day and affect how I treated everyone else but yeah, what happened is even I had world selections. So basically four world selections, which is the competition to get selected to go to the world championships for Taekwondo. That was last Saturday. It's currently it's Saturday now. So it was exactly a week ago. Three days before that, all this anxiety came back and all these bad thoughts came back and it completely messed me up for my competition. And when I say it messed me up, I completely lost my appetite because my anxiety got so bad again. I couldn't sleep at all that night from overthinking. I fell asleep at five in the morning and that sucked because I had to wake up at 7 30 which means that I was fighting one of the biggest competitions that I'd had and especially considering corona I haven't fought since the start of last year this was gonna be like my comeback fight I've, I've trained so hard at the gym and literally competing especially in the senior division which is 18 years and older as a 16 year old girl for the first time after not fighting for a year and 
having two and a half hours of sleep that night, not being able to eat dinner, not being able to eat breakfast, not being able to eat lunch the next day, literally finding an empty stomach, feeling so weak was like literally impossible for me. So I lost the fight by literally two points. But honestly, I'm not mad about it only because I know now how important it is for me to be in a good mindset. This is all a part of building the character that I need to be in order to become the person that I want to become. And it's the same for you guys when you go through absolutely anything, any hardship. I still have two more chances to basically get selected to go to the World Championships because you have to win two out of three competitions and that was the first one. So I'm only going to train harder now and this has only given me so much more motivation and so much more appreciation for the days that I do have good rest. Going to the competition, I was in the car listening to my music the whole time trying to like hype myself up a little bit. When mum parked the car and we actually got inside, I literally just broke down and started crying because I did not know how I was going to get through that day. But yeah, that's basically what's been happening the past two, not even two weeks. This has been going on for two Two months but I guess over time it started to get worse and it came and went and came and went but it just goes to show how important your mental health is I'm only sharing this with you so you understand and you know you're definitely not alone when it comes to having bad days and you feel sad you feel down you feel like you've lost yourself you feel like you don't know who you are but if I look back to myself in January compared to April now I'm a completely different person for the better because I understand now the importance of self-confidence and self-love and I don't take it for granted now because I did lose it for a little bit and whatever you're going through I just want you to know that like I'm here for you and I understand how hard it can be sometimes it might not be on the same level we might not be going through the same thing but at the end of the day feelings are feelings and when you feel sad it's just a part of life because at the end of the day we're all good people we all have good souls we all are just trying to become a better person for ourselves and be happy and live our best lives and we have to go through these type of moments in order to get there and in order to become the person that we want for ourselves to become healing is 100% not linear you'll have days where you feel so amazing the next day you can just be brought down to a whole new level of bad thoughts <sighs> yeah but you know life is life things happen experiences happen your mind has to adapt to different experiences in order to know how to deal with them for the future and obviously us as like people who want to achieve our dreams and want to aim highly we're going to face ourselves with situations that are going to be uncomfortable we're going to have to face our fears and all of that our mind isn't used to hasn't been easy let's just say that it hasn't been easy but that's why i think it's important that we all have each other here to talk to to come to for advice and i'm always here to give you guys my advice because i absolutely love giving people advice but yeah i just want you guys to know that i'm back and i feel like lauren again my mindset my confidence my self-love is all completely back but it's not just back it's on a whole new level that it couldn't reach before when i didn't have those life lessons and i didn't have those experiences to shape the person that i am now i'm definitely so much stronger i definitely appreciate myself so much more and appreciate the time that i have with myself and i really do want the same for you guys the number number one thing that i really want you guys to understand through everything you're going through is it's all happening for you and absolutely everything is only happening to shape you and to teach you the lessons you need to know in order to become the person that you want to become and it's never going to be easy at all but that's a part of it and that's a part of building your persistence and building your resilience every single one of you guys are so so strong you have it in you even if you don't think you'll be able to make it through a bad situation or a bad time of your life just know that there's always going to be a light at the end of the tunnel no matter how long it takes don't give up on yourself and as long as you stay positive you allow yourself to focus on yourself work on yourself and love yourself as well that is all you can do and i promise you that is more than enough to do as well now that my little ted talk is done can we just take a little moment to appreciate how nice the sunset is see this is just proof we're off to a good start for the night Music pumping. Um, question is, what playlist do we need right now? So, I just want to let you guys know I've been using like my Dior mascara for ages, but my favorite mascara, I finally got like a new one off it, and it's the Bad Gal Bang Benefit mascara. It's literally so good, and you guys will see in a second when I put it on. And I'm so happy now because I've been using the Dior one for a while and like I love it but I just missed her she is literally so good 
Normally I only start getting dressed like 10 minutes before I leave, but because I wanted to talk to you guys, I had to give myself some extra time. It's been a solid like half an hour and I haven't cleaned up my room because I don't really want to. So I've been like dancing instead because why not? It's literally a Saturday night, but I knew my face was looking a bit like naked like does that not look naked to you and I realized I forgot my favorite part which is my highlighter so I'm gonna put that on because I was missing a little bit of a glow I need to put on my where's my highlighter if I could find it oh there we go while I'm putting it on just let so you guys know I went yesterday to this place in Sydney called Coogee with my parents and it was actually so fun there's something about going away and like changing up your environment a little bit changing up I don't know if I'm putting too much on because I'm purely talking to you guys and doing it without looking, but like, who cares? And yeah, something about changing up really changed up my whole mindset and it got me out of that flow and got me out of that routine of doing the same things because it's like music. We listen to a certain song because it makes us think of a certain thought which makes us feel a certain way. So when we're in the same environment, we're thinking the same things around the same energy and it makes us feel a certain way. I actually had a really good sleep because I technically haven't slept in like, two and a bit weeks because I've been waking up every like hour not being able to fall back asleep but basically moral of the story is sometimes you gotta switch it up you know if you're in the same cycle you feel stuck switch up either your music switch up your diet switch up who you're hanging around with switch up where you're sleeping for the night because that's what I did switch up your style I'm sorry but going through all that bad negative energy that negative thoughts going through the anxiety has led me to like really up my style and I'm all here for it and I love my outfit I'll show you guys what I'm wearing it's all okay well you can't see that my pants and my top it's all from the universal store my favorite store at the moment i'm not gonna lie spent like 700 dollars there the other day which is too much money for my bank account to handle but you know i thought why not why not okay that looks a whole lot better actually my face doesn't look naked anymore <laughs> i'm gonna play for you guys my favorite song at the moment Yes! We literally get the same thing every time we come, but I get beef udon noodles with oyster sauce. And what do you get? Beef noodles. Yeah. Yes. And obviously, I got my lemon lime bitters. <laughs> Ruby, this is why you don't wear boots and you wear shoes instead because I've got some real speed right now. Look at this view. Go, show me your model walk. 